Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you're watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel. And this is Poco F5 5G or the Redmi Note 12 Turbo 5G custom ROM reviews. Back with new video, guys. This is Lineage OS version 21. You guys can see here. And the version is 14 again. You guys can see the Easter egg here. And vendor security patch is 5th January 2024. And Android security patch is also the same. Kernel version is 5.10.208 mild version 2.5.2 build date you can see january 19th latest build there are some bugs and everything will be explained in this video stay tuned till the end of the video and if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also all the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video do it like starting with the home screen setup as you can see there is already a music player widget is available if i press and hold here you get some more widgets here as you can see camera and other things like clock widget if i can show this yeah it's not updated here but anyhow lineages will be kind of say android and even octavius are also similar to this but it's a light ui you get these kind of dialers here as you can see you can make direct video call here let me dial it out and check whether call recording is there no 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 there is no call recording here but dialer is fine in my opinion you guys can see unable to cut the call yeah touch response is little bit weak in this particular rom and these are all the apps i have installed i will be showing each and every app here before that we'll show this quick settings panel you guys can see here there are some options like nfc yes this is poco f5 we don't get nfc redmi note 12 turbo and other global variants will get nfc and other options are given in this particular <laughs> edit section this is how settings app and here you also get the app active status and this is power button as you can see the animations are smooth here but uh, what isn't smooth is the camera as you can see it's not running actually it's completely dead in this particular rom not just that i try to install a third party camera like open camera it's also not working in this particular rom that's the major major bug uh, they were maybe hurry to release this rom they would have checked this camera is very important aspect for any custom rom or any custom rom users who want to flash in their mobiles camera is just not running out at least provide any file to flash through recovery or else uh, rebuild this particular build uh, for developer i'm saying maybe very soon we'll be seeing new build that's one bug and also uh, safety net status you guys can see here it get failed here uh, that's one more they could have been fixed this uh, without making hurry but this is what we get and even while playing youtube videos i have noticed that there is lag in the uh, videos maybe it is a bug only for me or else others also let me know in the comment section guys and as you can see touch response is also sometime it is not that good now it is good actually yeah, as you can see there are some lags in the ui i even flashed the latest uh, firmware here let me show you as you can see marple me ui that's the latest firmware i even tried that still the lag in the ui and camera is not getting work done and safety and status get failed here some benchmark results uh, i try to show you yeah this is the cpu throttling test here i really like it 92 percent of its max performance that's fine and this Geekbin score is also 1526 is a single score and 4417 is a multi score again Linux 4.10.208 melt version 2.5.2 kernel has been used but what i can say is even gaming is also fine let me check that and say you guys and this how volume panel you get here let me increase the volume and the good thing is graphic settings you get up to 90 fps here smooth plus 90 and even ultra hdr option is also there you need to just download that let's see how it handles here actually and i really felt good this rom is maybe this is the first version of lineage is based on android 14 but they would have been waited at least before releasing the update yeah camera is the main thing for any of them That's simply not working in this particular ROM.
anyhow at least the gameplay is fine here let me increase the volume again yeah it's get the max here the gameplay is smooth definitely uh, the gameplay and the UI smoothness is also there just there is lag in the UI here and there touch response is a little bit there overall apart from that everything is fine as you can see even game, I haven't faced any ghost touch or anything like that issues here yeah we'll come back uh, that's what I want to say here let's see into the settings what all the other settings what we get here here into system Again, you get buttons, customizations, those are present here. Gestures, again, you get all these options. Three finger to take a screenshot is not there here. And you're in the gesture navigation. You also don't get any fill length adjustment and radius adjustment in this particular room. 100 mode, anyhow, it's working here, as you can see. But other settings are not given. Updater is there, but I recommend to flash through recovery. System profiles are there. Apart from that, uh, you won't get any uh, customization here. You guys can see here, there's no app lock also here, just fingerprint unlock, which is quite fast to unlock your smartphone using that. There is even no face unlock here. And wallpaper sense style again, lock screen customization that's present here. That is not present completely, yeah. And home screen again, as you can see, you get all these options here to change the wallpaper. You get this kind of wallpaper spray install sound and vibration again you get all these options vibration and haptic strength intensity you can adjust from here direct sound settings you get hi-fi audio system and scene selection headphone type and a preset here but not dolby atmos not even vision also very soon i will be making pixel voice review in order to get that video subscribe to my channel guys very soon you will be seeing that battery usage you can see thermal profiles as you can see and yeah that's it nothing more here accessibility menu that's also given it's a handy feature to use in any custom room without actually using the physical buttons of volume you can even turn and turn and turn it off from here even the brightness toggle everything you can make it up that's a handy feature in the display settings again everything remains same at least in dark theme they have given pure black that's fine for me at least colors option you get these four options but still it looks a little bit dull to me even though if i kept to saturate it tap to wake is there tap to sleep is there and one more bug in this particular room i haven't find anywhere uh ambient display or anything like that let me search that because screen getting turned on for itself even though if i turn it off it will get as you can see raised to wake option i haven't seen anywhere here in this particular room but it's still getting turned on i don't know where the option is i found out i unable to found that let me see as you can see on the, the display tap to wake is there tap to sleep is there wake on plug is there but race to wake is not there this is race to wake let me turn this off as you can see this is race to wake they should give the option every time it will get uh, turned on the display uh, then the bad life could have been uh, better if it is turned off but anyhow this is how the ROM uh, bugs and everything I really felt this is a good ROM stable uh, if they would have fixed those options what I said before and also get this wiper FX here uh, I think they should add that Dolby Atmos support here in the upcoming builds and fix those issues check the ROM once in device guys before releasing but overall you have tried this that I can appreciate but in the next upcoming build fix these things camera should work fastly and should work actually not fastly that's the thing and quick settings panel i have no issues here automatic brightness toggle is also given here that's fine but camera safety net status check and some here and there ui lag and other things they need to fix what i said in this video that's it guys we'll meet you with another interesting video